I've put a quick video together to help you to understand court positioning when you're playing singles. Now the reason I've put this video together is because in England, where I live, there's been a slight easing in the lockdown rules. Now players are allowed to get back onto the tennis courts, but they're only allowed to play singles unless they are with three other people from their household, then they can play doubles. So at our club in particular, and I know lots and lots of clubs over England, there are going to be loads of tennis players that are so used to playing doubles but aren't very experienced on the singles court. So this video should help those players in particular in understanding where they should be moving and recovering to after each shot. And not only will it help those players that play lots of doubles, but actually if you already play singles, it might jog your memory and it might give you a better understanding of why you should be moving into certain positions and it will just give you a better idea when you're playing yourself. So let's get into it. On this first picture, you can see a tennis ball and you can see a green circle. Now the green circle is you, where you're standing, and the tennis ball is where your opponent will be striking the ball from. So in this first picture, you can see that your opponent is in the center of the court and so are you. Now, when you are rallying up and down the middle of the court, your opponent has a narrow channel that they can hit into. They don't really have the opportunity to create too many angles because they're in the middle of the court. So you can see with this yellow triangle here, you standing in the middle of the baseline is the best place to be because you can equally cover your forehand side and your backhand side. Now, this changes depending on where you send your shot. So if, for example, you hit, if you're a right-handed player, and you hit a forehand cross-court into your opponent's right-hand corner, you will recover slightly off-centre to your right. So any time you hit your forehand cross-court, you should move slightly to the right-hand side if you are a right-handed player. Lefties would do the opposite. Now, on this picture you will see an overlay of a tennis court and I've put it at an angle. What this shows is a change in perspective from your opponent. So previously, when your opponent was in the center of the court, they were looking straight down the court at you. Now that you've pulled them out wide, they're looking at the court from an angle. Now, because they're looking at the court from an angle, they have the opportunity now to hit more angle out wide they have less of an opportunity to pull you off the court when they go down the line, which is why now you're able to move slightly off centre into your forehand side. If you look at the yellow triangle now, it is slightly bigger than it was before because they have more angles, more room to play with. But you'll also see with the green arrows that your centre point has shifted. So you are needing to move slightly off centre. If you look at this third and final image, you'll see I've done it the other way around. So if you sent your shot into your opponent's backhand side or lefty's forehand side, you would have to move slightly to the left of your centre point or your baseline so that you can cover equally your forehand and your backhand because your opponent's perspective of the court has changed slightly. I hope that all made sense. If you've got any questions, pop a comment below and I'll get back to you. When you get out there, the most important thing is keep moving your feet. Always recover to a good position. If in doubt, get back to the middle. But you'll start to feel when you do move your opponents from side to side, if you're recovering slightly off center to the opposite side of the court to where your opponent is, you'll start to find that you're covering the court a lot more effectively and efficiently, and you'll actually save a lot of energy. So bear that in mind, give it a go, and let me know how you get on. Good luck.